Hi everybody, I'm Amanda and I'm going to give you guys a quick walkthrough of Module 6, Activity 2, Vector Plot. So in this activity, you're going to be learning how to use the magnetometer on the lunasats to draw vectors showing magnetic fields. And the goal of this is to help you learn how to use the magnetometer to measure and visualize these magnetic fields. And this is important to our mission because the moon has a very different magnetic environment from the Earth. So using the lunasats as each their own data point, this could be very useful to build measurements of the magnetic field on the moon and learn more about that. So you're going to need some materials and code for this activity. Um, you're going to need your Lunasat, your computer with the Arduino IDE installed, the FTDI, and your cables. You're also going to need a bar magnet and your magnetometer vector plot template. And just a quick note that what you may have received in your uh, packet might say Activity 3, and that's just because we made some improvements to this module after these were printed. So just ignore that. Um, you're also going to need some tape, a pen or pencil, and also your Activity 6.2 worksheet to follow along. And the code that we're going to be using is magnetometer vector plot. So like always, you're going to go to Glee 2023, module sketches, module 6 magnetometer sensor, and then look for magnetometer vector plot. So you're going to upload the code like normal and um, make sure that once you upload it, you take the time to do the calibration step. Don't just go straight into the activity. You want to calibrate the Lunasat with the magnets as far away as possible and having your Lunasat far away from uh, your computer because that also produces magnetic fields. And you're going to put it in the um, oriented so that the solar panels are up relative to your vector plot template sheet. And you want to keep the sheet in place for the rest of the activity after you do the calibration step, just so that the calibration is correct and it is canceling out any external magnetic fields that might be in the room. So once you've gone through and calibrated, it'll give you instructions in the code in the serial monitor to hit enter to get your first vector. And it'll give you a direction and you'll just use that to mark the same direction on your vector plot template um, aligned with the crosshairs. <laughs> and once you've finished that and you feel good about the magnetic field that you've drawn, you can go ahead and also flip over your vector plot sheet and there's more crosshairs for you to explore on the back and see if you can get a more detailed, more accurate field. And there is a picture of what this should kind of look like at the end, um, but drawn with continuous field lines. So um, yeah, you can just go ahead and do that and see how accurate you think the, your magnetic field really is and mess around with it, become familiar with the tools and what magnetic fields are. Good luck, everybody, and have fun.